all I wanted to look at. It's been many. My love. Back home, dear. How was work today? I was fine, thank you. I'm glad to see that you're more lively today. I'm sorry for behaving that way towards you. I didn't know I was hurting you with my actions. It's okay, dear. I totally understand how you feel. That was why I tried as much as possible to make you happy. Thank you for always being there for me. You have no idea how happy you have made me. I'm just sad that I can't make you happy. I would say you are not making me happy. You are the most important person in my life. That's because you bring me so much happiness. I'm sorry about our child. You don't have to be sorry. We will have another child when the time comes. I'm glad that you are fine. I prepared something very delicious for you. I knew you would be tired, so I decided to make today's dinner special. Wait, you made it special. This means you cook my favorite food. That's right. I cooked your favorite food. Would you like to eat now? In as much as it's so tempting, I'll eat later. But why? This is the perfect time to eat. It's not advisable to eat late night food. Yes, dear, I know. But I want to show you something in our bedroom. <laughs> I want to come with you. That's your trick will not work today. I know your plans already. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go and make another baby since you have been crying too much about the first one. You know it's not possible to say no to you. Just go, I will join you soon. No, let's go together. Okay, sir. So Robert really wants to go to the extent of killing Imadra to take his words. Man, this life no balance at all. How did they even become friends? Because Robert seems to be greedy and Ima is very stingy. They are a perfect match for friendship. But Robert is taking this thing so far. We already agreed to steal the house and company documents. Why does he want to kill Ima again? In as much as money was my first reason for marrying Ima, my motive has already changed. Yes, I need his money but it is not my priority anymore. I just want to be happy. I just want to have a good marriage with a faithful partner that loves me. Ima is the opposite of what I want but I have already fallen for him. He is stingy is abusive and is also a womanizer. Hmm, he has not met any of the criteria. I won't let Robert take his life. I have to expose Robert and expose myself too. In as much as Ima is not a saint, he doesn't deserve any of the bad things we plan to do to him. After all, he worked tirelessly for his money, so he can be stingy as much as he wants. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Precious. You seem to like my house a lot this time around. I'm not here to have any pleasantries with you. I came here to let you know that you've succeeded. I don't understand. I succeeded in what? I came to your house a few days ago before I realized I was pregnant. So obviously, I was pregnant the day I came here. So how is that my problem? Do you need a congratulations? Okay, congratulations to you. This is not funny. I want to know why you did it. Who did you put in the drink you gave to me the day I came to your house? What nonsense are you saying? Well... I I had a miscarriage and my baby is gone. Congratulations to you. Young lady, you obviously don't have anything to say. Make your point or you leave. Why did you do it? Do what? Why did you tamper with my pregnancy? There's no point to lie because I already know. Are you out of your mind? What kind of accusation is that? What business do I have with your pregnancy? Oh, please stop lying. What do you mean what business do you have with my pregnancy? You are still angry that Matthew married me, isn't it? Get out of my house. You have a problem with Matthew, so please do not take it out on me and my innocent child. He has already begged you, so forgive him and stop making our lives miserable. Oh my love, you are finally back home. I am so happy to see you again. I want to go inside. Baby, I promise never to disappoint or hurt you again. That was the last time I will ever think of having anything to do with another woman. Please, stand up. You don't need to kneel for me. I just want to show you that I have decided to let go of such life and focus on you and our marriage. It's okay, I have forgiven you. If I didn't forgive you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you so much, my love. I am so happy you came back. I really have to thank Robert because he made you come back. Robert did nothing. I came here out of my own will and thoughtfulness. I missed you. I missed you too, dear. Don't worry. From now on, forth, I will never do anything to hurt you again. I just hope so. And you will never hit me again. Because if you do, I will leave. I promise. I will never hit you again. It's okay. You are forgiven. Just go and change up. I want to take you out today. Really? Wow, I can't remember the last time you took me out. I will spoil you today. I will get you whatever you want. So go and get dressed. Okay, dear. Babe, please wake up. I want to have a word with you. Oh my god, not now. I feel very sleepy. We can talk about this later in the day, but not now. It is really important that we talk about it now. So please get up. I won't take much time. You will go back to sleep. Hmm. Okay, I just hope you won't take much time like you said. What is the problem? Do you need money? No, I don't need money. I want to tell you that someone is after your life. My life? Why? How close are you to Robert and how did you both become friends? Robert is my very good friend. In fact, he's like a brother to me. We are very close. Hmm. Okay. How much do you trust him? I trust him very much. 
He has never hurt no harm me ever since we became friends. Babe, is there a problem? Yes, there is a problem. Robert is after your life. That is not it. Robert can never be after my life. What makes you think so? What do you see? Do not trust anybody, Ima. Robert is after your life. He wants to kill you and take up all your assets and money. That is not possible. I can never believe that Robert wants to kill me. We have been friends for way too long. Do you think I would lie with something like that? Of course not. I am telling you the whole truth. I need proof. Okay, since you need proof. I will call him tomorrow and inform him that I have agreed to join him in killing you. Then we will know what happened. Okay, I'll be waiting. Sorry, I took so much time to come here. I was really busy at home. I just finished, so I decided to rush down here. It's okay. What matters is that you are here. I am happy to see you. Since when were you happy to see me? You have always been frowning whenever you see me. Well, this time around, it's different. I am genuinely happy to see you because I have agreed to poison a man and take all his money. Really? Wow. It took quite some time to make up your mind. I'm glad to hear that. There is no point waiting anymore. Let's just do it and get over with the whole thing. You're right. So... Where is he at the moment? He's with his clients. They are having a meeting. Don't worry, he won't be back anytime soon. Until evening. It's okay. So how are we going to do it now? I don't know where I can get the poison. It's not hard. Don't worry, I'll get it for you this evening. So you can put it in his food this night. No, let it be tomorrow morning. We plan on hanging out again this night. I'll bring the poison this night. Just do as you say. Tomorrow I'll be here to have breakfast with him. So I can take control of everything. That would be nice. I'll be waiting. Meanwhile, now that he's not at home at the moment. Can we just make ourselves happy? I cannot do that. I have some things to do inside. I'll call you later. Thank God you are home. Else, I would have burned this house to ash in your absence. Good evening, ma. Keep your greetings to yourself, Matthew. How dare you? How dare you think you can both insult me after what you did to my daughter? Please, ma, have a seat. What's the problem? I am not here to sit on your chair. I want to sound this as a warning. The next time your wife comes to my house to insult me, I will not be this soft. Please, ma, what are you talking about? I'm confused here. Please make me understand. I should make you understand as if you are not aware that your wife came to my house and accused me of being the reason for her miscarriage. Precious said that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't know she would do something like that. Shut up your lying mouth. I decided to let you go because I am not as heartless as you are. So don't step on my toes. I'm not stepping on your toes. Ever since the last time I came and you told me to stop coming, I did. Advise your wife. Not everyone is as patient as I am. I am innocent of what she accused me of. Sorry about that. Ever since my daughter was buried, I decided to spend most of my time in the house. I have no business with both of you. Sorry, I'll talk to her. She came without my permission. I will not warn you again. Babe, sorry I took so much time. There were so many people at the bank, so I had to wait for my turn. It's okay. I was beginning to be worried. What matters is you are home now. I hope you are not stressed. Not at all. Are you okay? Have you had lunch? Babe, how many times will I tell you that if you are not home, I will not eat anything in this house. We always have to eat together. Sorry, sir. I forgot. I will just go and set the table because I'm hungry. Wait, did you visit Face Mother? Was she here? Answer my question, Precious. Did you visit Face Mother in her house? Did you accuse her of being the reason of your miscarriage? Yes, I did. Why would you do that? Just thank God you were not home by the time she came here, else it would have been a different story. I was just angry and frustrated. So I suspected her to have something to do with it, since she has a problem with you. I don't understand you, Precious. You lost a pregnancy, a pregnancy of just two weeks, and you were frustrated. So what would you call the sadness that the woman feels whenever she remembers that her adult daughter is dead? I'm sorry. Please do not try it again. That woman is passing through a lot. You should help in making her feel better, no worse. I'm sorry. I will go see her tomorrow and apologize. It's not necessary because it will only make her angry the more. So just forget about it. Okay. Johnson, why did you call me to come to your house again? What do you want this time around? Love it, please. I'm dying. Please help me. I'm sorry for disturbing you by this time of the day. What is wrong with you again? Are you sick again? Yes, I'm very sick. I don't know what I've done wrong to deserve this kind of punishment. Have you gone to the hospital? Yes, I went to the hospital. And as usual, they told me they don't know what I'm suffering. In fact, everything is okay with me. Sorry about that. So you that called me to come over, what do you want me to do for you? Love it, please. I want to marry you. Please say yes to me. Say yes to me, please. <laughs> You're so funny, Johnson. So because you are sick again, now you want to marry me. <laughs> it is really funny. I know I've hurt you so many times by rejecting you, but please have mercy on me. I should have mercy on you. Of course I do. But the only problem is that I am no longer interested in marrying you. Love it, please now. Do you want me to die before my time? Just take a look at me now. I am so sick. I can't even stand up. Look for the solution to your problem. As for me, I will never marry you again. Chai, I'm finished. How do I make this girl accept my proposal?
This one you're in my house this early morning. I hope all is well, Sha. Yes, all is well. I'm tired of having breakfast alone in my house, so I decided to join you both. That is so thoughtful of you. My wife is preparing my favorite meal, so I guess today's breakfast will be very special. Yes, it will be very special. I came here yesterday, but my wife told me you were out with some clients. Yesterday was really busy for me. I thank God I was able to close all deals. That is wonderful. I thought you went out to have some fun with some other ladies. God forbid. I'll never try such thing to my wife again. Now that I have settled with her, I want to try as much as possible to have a happy marriage. I'm glad to hear that. It is a good thing to be faithful. So how about we hang out today again? That sounds nice, but I won't come with you again. Why not? Have you forgotten what happened the last time? My marriage almost crashed because of you. <laughs> That's a big lie. Anyway, this time around, we'll just drink. Trust me. Alright then. Since I won't be going anywhere today, We'll go out later in the day, okay? I think my wife is done. Let's go and eat. Anyway, this time around, we just drinks. Trust me. Okay. You're still here? I thought you would come help me out. Are you done? Our plan was for him to eat the food you poisoned. Is he dead yet? So you didn't hear his scream? He is dead. I poisoned him and he died. Wow. I hope you made sure he was completely dead before you him out. I don't want him to listen to our conversation. No, he won't listen. He's dead. Now, we have to think of how to dispose his body. It might be trees if you dump him by the roadside. That is not a good idea at all. How could you even suggest we dump his body by the roadside? So what do you suggest? We take him to the mortuary? Yes, let's take him to the mortuary. When the mortuary attendants are tired of keeping his body, they will dispose it themselves. Okay, let's do now. This is his body. So you really killed him? Yes, I did. We should be thinking of how to dispose his body now. Hey, <laughs> it might get up. Enough of the pretense. The truth about your wife has been exposed. That was a good drama, both of you. Ima, what is going on here? How did he know you were pretending? Because this was a prank. I wanted to see if you would really kill me because of my money. Ima, I need an explanation of what happened out there. You did a prank on me. Yes, my love. And you passed it. Why did you let Robert leave? I wanted him to explain himself to me. So you both deceived me all this why? Babe, you can't blame me. Although I was disappointed in you at first, but I still decided to give you a chance. Robert made it look so real. Never would I have imagined he was just faking it. Are you aware he was always on my case asking me to sleep with him? Yes, I know everything. It was our plan to see if you would fall for another man. I am sorry. You tempted me. Even the day Robert came to the house to tell you I was with another lady. Yes, truly I was with another lady. But I was aware he came here. But I didn't know if he told you I was with another lady. I only know he came here. Yes, it was the one that told me about it. Babe, I am glad you passed the test. How did this whole thing happen? I will tell you. It started when we were just friends. Guy, are you serious with what you want me to do? She will not be happy if she finds out. That is what I want to do. I don't want the gold digger in my house. You know I don't really like the idea of keeping my money in the bank. It doesn't matter. Why not hide it in a place she will never find it instead of trying to test her? No matter where I keep it, she will find out. Especially when we are married and she moves in. Hmm. So what am I to do? I want you to bring the idea of killing me to her. Try to convince her to accept the idea. I want to see if she will fall for it. And what if she falls? We leave her? Even if she falls, it is still not enough to judge if truly she is a gold digger. You have to make her get to the really end of it. I don't even know how to go about this. What is so difficult in what I want you to do? You only have to convince her to steal the company documents and some money from my account. Hmm, okay, is that all? And at the same time, I want you to ask her out. I want to know who she really is. Please do it well and I'll pay you. Okay then, I think there's no need to continue with the wedding. How about you post marrying her for now to you know if she's a good digger? Don't bother yourself about it. None of my important documents is here in the house. And when I marry her, it will make her know I am really serious about it. Are you crazy? So you will waste your mind to marry her and still try to know if she is a good digger. You don't know what you are doing, Sha. I know what I am doing. Just do as I see and I will pay you. So that was how we began. That means I'm owing him the sum of 50,000 naira for a job well done. I can't believe this. And I was saying Robert is a betrayer. That he is not worthy of being your friend. Robert is a very good friend. I already told you once that he has never betrayed me. He has been nothing but a brother to me. So what is my fate now? What is my stand in this marriage? You know why I insisted to marry you even when I wanted to know if you are after my money? Why? Because I didn't want to lose you. Part of my mind told me you would overcome the temptation. The second part insisted I should do it. And your both minds were right? Yes, because you accepted to do before you changed your mind. So what made you change your mind? Because I realized I have fallen for you. There was no need to kill an innocent man. Your only crime was to work hard for your money. Thank you. You haven't still answered my question. Now that you know I plotted against you, first. What is my fate? I still love you. You were good enough to tell me everything. It would have been a different case if you had agreed to kill me. By the way, 
Was that no poison Robert gave to you? No, it was salt. That's true, because I asked him why the substance was white and he told me he got it from a spiritualist. <laughs> Robert is so funny. Don't worry about anything, my love. I am glad you didn't fall. I'm really confused about this your sickness. You recovered last week. How come you are sick again? My brother, I don't know what is happening. I thought I overcame all these things. I didn't know it would still come back. Have you gone to the hospital? My neighbor took me to the hospital, but they saw nothing. I don't know what is wrong with me, Matthew. I feel like I will die soon. You will not die. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I hope it's not still about love yet. You know the last time you were sick, you had to propose to her. Please. You have to call the pastor. I really need to speak to him. It is important. Have you forgotten the pastor traveled for a conference? We'll be back before Sunday, so he's not available now. So the thing is that I called Lovette here. I proposed to her, but she turned me down. I guess this has something to do with her as well. Hmm, again? Didn't I warn you about this thing the last time? How do you expect her to accept your proposal the second time after what you did before? I'm frustrated, Matthew. I just want to be well again. Why are you so stubborn, Johnson? At some point, I need to say you deserve this sickness so your brain can function well. The truth is that I don't have feelings for her. How will I cope? You have to accept your fate with her. God will never give you what he knows is not good. What should I do now? I already proposed to her but she turned me down. She even walked out on me. Don't worry, I'll go back and talk to her. This time around, you have to be serious and make sure you do the right thing. Matthew, I already know why you're here. You don't have to come all the way from your place to see me. That is to show you how important it is. Please just hear me out, even if it's for a minute. You're funny. That was how you came last time and claimed it was also important. But what happened? Johnson ended up playing with my feelings. I know how you feel of it. I already scolded him for his nonchalant attitude. Trust me, he's a changed man. He will not treat you that way anymore. I don't care. He wants me back because he is sick. When he gets well, he will turn to something else. Please, I have things to turn my energy to, but definitely not a man. I can see it in your eyes that you still love him. Yes, I still love him, but I will never give him a chance again. I gave him a chance, but he ruined it. He deserves to be flogged, but he has learned his lessons. He is in love with you too, but he doesn't know what love is. I mean, he has never been in love. He is in love with me. But he doesn't want to see me with his two eyes. You can't deceive me. Love it, I know you have a good heart. Just come and see him and listen to what he has to say. I will only do this because you are here to beg on his behalf. Thank you. I am really shocked to know that you actually planned to kill Ima before you changed your mind. You can't blame me, Cassandra. I mean, one of the main reasons why I married him was because of his money. I saw it as a good opportunity. I am really disappointed in you. You should have stood your ground against it. Even though you were there for the money. So what is the difference? The difference is that you married because you feel he will be able to take care of you. It is different from killing him and taking everything. Well, that is in the past now. What matters is that Ima and I are in good terms. It is surprising that Ima still loves you even after he found out you first thought of killing him before you changed your mind. So he is wrong for forgiving me? If I was in his shoes, I would only forgive you but I won't marry you again because if you could think of killing me, that means you can actually do it one day. I am glad Ima is not like you. Now he limits the way he hits me. He treats me with respect and I treat him with respect too. Now that you both are in good terms, are you still in the marriage because of what he can offer? No, I am no longer there because of his money. I just want to be with him. Okay, you better change. Thank you very much, Lovett. I'm glad you finally decided to come see me. I am glad you finally have the strength to sit up. How are you feeling now? Now that I have seen you, I feel very much better. I was really worried I would never see you again. Oh, please. Don't even try to sugarcoat me because it will not work. You've already made your points clear to me. Yes, I did. But I want to correct it. I was wrong to judge you and treat you the way I did. I accept my mistakes and I'm ready to correct them. Good to hear. Is all this because you're sick? You're looking for a way to make me say yes to you again so you can feel better no love it now i have realized that no matter where i run to my destiny with you still remains there is nothing i can do about it i don't think this will work anymore i already lost interest in you i waited for you too long you kept playing with my feelings you have every right to lose interest it is a pity i did not realize this on time i wish i had done the right thing since when i found out we were destined to be together by now we would have been married i still feel you want to play with my feelings again no i don't want to i want to sincerely be with with you and i'm serious now please give me a chance and what if i found out you're still playing with my feelings what should i do to you leave me forever and i'll suffer this sickness forever okay then i'll marry you i hope everything is fine with you and your wife 
I'm not the reason for Ibo to separate. Thank you for your concern, but my wife and I are in good terms. She went to see her friend. She'll be back later in the evening. Why didn't you tell me she knew everything? How come she did not poison you as like we expected? That is because she woke me up from sleep the previous night and told me all about it. She told me you were going to kill me. <laughs> I imagine what would have happened if truly I wanted to kill you. I swear, I'll make sure you rot in jail. Although, I kept telling her you are not capable of doing such thing, but she didn't believe. She must be angry with me. Guy, are you really sure you want to kill that lady. I mean, she cooperated with me for some time. Yes, I am sure about her. I mean, she changed her mind. That was because I told her to kill you. Probably she was scared of going to prison if someone finds out she killed you. So what are you saying? Do you know what would have happened if I kept on pressuring her to get your company's document? Don't you think she would, she would have done it? I don't think so. There is no difference from stealing my documents and killing me. Okay, since you want to keep her as a wife, I don't have any problem with that. All I can say to you is, be careful. Thanks, bro. How about I take you off for some glasses of drink i don't want to drink let's go to the club it's been long i had fun i don't do that anymore i want to stay faithful to my wife